want us to look at this indicator by Lux Algo called the liquidity sentiment profile. The name tells it all that it's actually a very, very advanced charting tool. So guys, this indicator is actually a very brand new indicator in tradingview.com. And as you can see, number one, it shows us liquidity and does what well sentiment profile. And as you know, there is something we call liquidity in Forex trading. There is what we call sentiment also in Forex trading. So I'm actually imagining that this indicator can show us all of this. So guys, you can see how powerful it is. Okay. So guys, to add the indicator in your chart, just go into tradingview.com. Then in the indicator tab, you just go into type liquidity sentiment profile lux algo. You're just going to click on it. Once you click on it, this is how it's actually going to appear right on your chart. So this is the indicator I'm basically talking about. And as you can see for real, there is a lot. It is shows we have histograms over here as well. We have different colors that you can see over here. So in this video, we're just going to learn about the description and also the usage of this indicator. We're just going to see what all these colors shows. There are colors you can see in gray color, the blue color, the red color, actually the green color as well. We're just going to see what they all show. Okay. So guys, let's first of all understand about the description of this indicator. So guys, the liquidity sentiment profile indicator is actually a very advanced charting tool that measures by combining price and volume data over specified anchored periods and highlights within a sequence of profiles the distribution of the liquidity and the market sentiment at specific price levels. So the liquidity sentiment profile allows traders to reveal significant price levels, dominant market sentiment, support and resistance levels, supply and demand zones, liquidity availability levels, liquidity gaps, consolidation gaps, and more advanced on price and volume data. And as we know, liquidity refers to availability of orders at specific price levels in the market, allowing transaction to occur smoothly. So as well, liquidity is the fuel the market needs so that it can really move. So guys, allow me to look at the usage number one about this indicator. So usage number one, a liquidity sentiment profile is a combination of liquidity and a sentiment profile where the right part of profile displays the distribution of the traded activity at different price levels and the left price displays the market sentiment at those price levels. So the liquidity sentiment profiles are actually visualized with different colors where each color has a different meaning just as you can see on my chart right here. So guys as you can look on my chart over here it actually shows us the liquidity sentiment profile and basically what you're supposed to know it is a combination of a liquidity and the sentiment profile would have seen before and periodically plotted in the middle of the anchored range and we saw for real these colors they have their own meaning so guys and the liquidity profile as well we have orange rose which includes high trade and notes and as well we have gray rose as well which indicate average and we have blue rose which indicate low trade so what you can probably see the orange color the gray color and the blue colors on your chart just know they are and the liquidity profile that's what you're really supposed to know so guys let's see what we can see when it comes to sentiment profile so when it comes to sentiment profile we have a green row over here which indicates a bullish sentiment and we have a red rose which indicates a bearish sentiment this is probably what you can see over here we have a green color and as well we have a red rose over here so you can see they indicate bullish and bearish sentiment so guys that's what you're really supposed to understand about this indicator very effective usage number one so guys let's go to usage number two usage number two you're supposed to know the liquidity sentiment profiles aim to present value areas based on significance of price levels thus allowing users to identify value areas that can be formed more than once within the range of single profile just as you can see on my chart right here so guys as you can see over here we have value areas based on significant price levels that allow users to identify value areas that can be formed more than once within the range of a single profile which you can probably see over here we can find liquidity gaps the fair value gaps and we can find as well the buy and assess side liquidity we have average traded nodes we have the consolidation we have dimensions so what you're supposed to know about low traded nodes you're supposed to know they represent supply and demand levels or buy and sell side liquidity and the liquidity gaps or 
fair value gap so that's what we see on a low traded nodes you're just going to see them right on your chart and as well we have high traded nodes over here they are the value areas usually represent the consolidation levels so where you will see high traded nodes they represent consolidation areas and remember as well we have low traded nodes which shows the supply and demand buy side and sell side liquidity levels liquidity gaps or rather the fair value gaps so in context of inner trader circle teachings buy and sell side liquidity mainly relates to stop losses or pending orders so that's what you're really supposed to understand about this indicator when it comes to usage number two so guys we can look at our very last usage of this indicator very very powerful we have a level of significance line which actually displays the changes in the price levels with the highest traded activity developing a poc or what we call points of control just as you can see on our chart right here so guys if we can look at my chart right here we have this line over here and basically this line we are talking about which is actually highlighted in red color is what we call level of significance line okay so whenever you will see this kind of a line over here you're supposed to know it displays the changes in the price levels with the highest trade activity therefore developing a point of control so that's what you're really supposed to understand and so when you see a point of control remember these are levels where you can really watch the market from and it will be easier for you to really execute trades okay so guys you can see how powerful this indicator is it's actually showing us a lot of things liquidity point of control you can see the highly traded nodes the low traded nodes and actually there is a lot of really land like the high traded nodes that shows as a consolidation and the low traded nodes shows a supply and demand buy and sell side liquidity and as well we have learned about buy sell and sell side liquidity they represent the pending order the stop losses and so on and so forth so remember this liquidity sentiment profile it's a very very advanced charting tool which measures by combining price and volume data over specified anchored periods and highlights within a sequence of profile the distribution of liquidity and the market sentiment at specific price levels that way it is actually very very important and very very useful as far as forex is really concerned i really like this indicator because it helps us really know more about liquidity okay so guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have a like this video let me hope you've learned something from this video success success in everything you do i wish you nothing but the best and a reminder continue working hard because i really know one day one day your hard work will pay so what do i say guys bye bye see you in my next video